There's a secret military airfield deep in the heart of China that's shrouded in mystery. Some even believe that this might be China's very own Area 51. Satellite photos show that the base is undergoing a massive expansion, and some experts believe the PLA is using the base and its giant runway to launch and land state-of-the-art spacecraft. Today, we're going to take you on a virtual tour of the secret airbase and give you an idea of the tests China is carrying out on site. Here's what China is hiding. Are you ready? The Lop Desert is dry, barren, and empty, which makes it the perfect place for China to build a secret airfield. If it wasn't for satellite images showing a massive 3.1 mile long runway, no one outside of the Middle Kingdom would even know it existed. Some even say this is China's version of Area 51. It's hundreds of miles from any city, which has led to speculation that the site is being used for top secret military experiments. The site itself sits on a dried up salt lake called Lop Nur, and before the runway was built, the Chinese military used the area to test nuclear weapons. One possibility is that the PLA is using the site to launch state-of-the-art spy satellites. China's military has undergone significant modernization in recent years, particularly in the field of space warfare. Analysts believe that the PLA's strategic support force has made significant advancements in space warfare, which means China could be more equipped to take out enemy satellites and communication systems. According to U.S. Space Command, China even has an experimental satellite called the Shijian-17 that can disable U.S. satellites with a robotic arm. The U.S. Space Force recently installed an $11 billion satellite constellation, so it's only a matter of time before China does something similar. The Lop Nur base would be the perfect place to launch such an installation. China recently launched three Yaogan-31 spy satellites, and there are likely plans for many more satellite launches. There is also evidence to suggest that China is using the base to launch space planes, ones that are very similar to the ones that the U.S. uses to launch its satellites. A single satellite launch can cost as much as $500 million, so it's entirely possible that the Lop Nur base is home to military and space tech worth as much as $20 billion. Let's take a look at what China's satellite launching space planes might look like. They're probably very similar to America's X-37B orbital test vehicle, but with a few key differences. For starters, China's reusable autonomous spacecraft aren't as large as the X-37B, and they can't reach orbit either. The space planes that are being launched from Lop Nur are probably suborbital, but that doesn't mean China isn't working on an orbital spacecraft. There are plenty of reasons to believe China is launching space planes from Lop Nur. Last year, China launched a suborbital reusable spacecraft from Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center in Inner Mongolia. That spacecraft then safely landed at the Alxa Wright Banner. The reusable spacecraft was launched via a Long March 2F rocket, so it's likely there's one of those lying around Lop Nur as well. Orbital test vehicles like the X-37B can land by themselves, but they need a rocket to get into space. The US uses Atlas rockets while China uses Long March rockets like the 2F. The best evidence of space planes being launched from Lop Nur comes from the U.S. military and a Harvard astronomer. Last year, the U.S. military picked up the new spacecraft on its tracking network. The Harvard astronomer then plotted the spacecraft's orbit and found it passed directly over Lop Nur. China gave no launch time or details about the mission, which means they didn't want anybody to know about it. Recent satellite photos show a dozen large concrete buildings that are currently under construction next to the runway. These are the first accommodations that have been built on the site. They could be housing facilities for construction workers, but there are plenty of other possibilities. One distinct possibility is that the airfield is being used as a training ground for a Mars mission. Mars could be a key battleground in a possible future space war, and there's no doubt that China will want to have the upper hand. A Chinese company recently set up a training facility called Mars Base 1 in the Gobi Desert. There might be a similar Mars training facility at Lop Nur, but with a military focus rather than a strictly scientific focus. Lop Nur could be a testing ground for a wide variety of high-altitude aircraft, high-altitude drones, and other experimental aircraft. China may be building its own high-altitude surveillance drones like the $130 million RQ-4 Global Hawk that's used by the U.S. Air Force. In 2019, China unveiled a high-altitude, high-speed drone called the WZ-8. 
The state-of-the-art surveillance drone is recoverable via a runway just like the one at Lop Noor. That's it, folks. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to this channel for more great videos.